So today we are going to learn about the functions of enzymes and their substrates by doing a little lab with liver and hydrogen peroxide. So the liver, if you want to take a look at that, has an enzyme called catalase inside of it. And that enzyme substrate is hydrogen peroxide. So just like the cleaning stuff that you probably have in your house. And what catalase does is it breaks hydrogen peroxide down into water and oxygen. So if our enzyme and our substrate, our hydrogen peroxide, come together, in our test tube, we should have water and the oxygen will appear as bubbles. So if these two things are both functioning and they're working properly, we're gonna see bubbles in the tube. All right, so right now we're cutting up the liver into little pieces that are gonna go into a test tube. And that's where we'll do the reaction. You can see, well, I cut it in half, but we're just talking about the liver is a pretty big organ, huge, really dense. And uh, yeah, how many pieces do you think we need? Like cut this up in a little one? See, one, two, three, four, five, at least five. Okay. So, All right, cool. Mr. Tota, if you could come give me some fresh liver into this first tube there. And we'll get it all the way down to the bottom, maybe. It's gonna slide down. Eventually, okay. And I'm gonna add two mils of hydrogen peroxide to it, and we can see the bubbles, hopefully. All right, so this is our enzyme in the liver and the substrate in the liquid. Woo! Ooh. Bubbles. Okay, so that is, right now, turning into water, right? And all these bubbles are the oxygen Zoom gas in. coming out. So now we're gonna do a couple other little scenarios here to really see how these enzymes function. So our next tube is another piece of fresh liver, Mr. Toda. So this is our enzyme going in. And now we're gonna use this liquid from the original tube. So this is the used up hydrogen peroxide. And we're gonna see if there is a reaction. Get that down there, okay. No reaction. How do we think that is? Because what I just poured onto it was already converted into water and oxygen. So I pretty much just poured water onto that liver and no reaction is happening because water is not the substrate for the enzyme, right? So nothing is going to happen. But now what if we use this used up liver, right? We've already did this crazy bubbly reaction now I'm going to try to get this liver to slide down into this test tube. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Use the liver, but I'm going to add fresh hydrogen peroxide to it. So this is that used enzyme now with new substrate. Woo! Bubbles again, right? So this proves to us that the enzyme in the liver does not change during the reaction. And if you add new substrate to it, I could keep adding hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide, and it would bubble every single time, right? Because that enzyme remains unchanged in the reaction. So in the next video, we are going to change the enzyme and see what happens. So now that we know a little bit about enzyme function and how the liver and the hydrogen peroxide come together and form bubbles, we're now going to test if a change in temperature and a change in pH will affect the function of the enzyme, right? What we have here first is liver sitting in water, just plain neutral water. So I'm gonna take this out and put it into our water test tube here. 
And I'm going to add hydrogen peroxide to that, and we'll see what happens. Ooh, bubbles, right? So this was water at a neutral pH at a room temperature. It worked, awesome. Next, we're gonna try to see if boiling this liver, changing the temperature to be super hot, has any effect on the function of the enzyme. Perfect. Okay, so boiled liver. We're gonna add our hydrogen peroxide. And a whole lot of nothing, right? So this means that the enzyme changed shape and no longer can function. It no longer can bind with the hydrogen peroxide, so bubbles are not being formed. Let's see next if a change in pH will cause the enzyme to not function. So we have liver sitting in ammonia. As we learned a couple weeks ago, ammonia is a strong base. So we're gonna see if this affects the function. Okay. Ooh, nothing. All right, so the pH change and the temperature change cause this protein to denature, right? So it's not its natural form anymore. It is changed shape. And now because it's a different shape, it can't bind with our substrate. So nothing happens anymore. So we have successfully denatured our catalase enzyme.